Okay, I'm. Uh, my name is Chuck McBay, and I'm here in downtown Manhattan, uh, a couple blocks from Hell's Kitchen. A friend of mine from Indiana was doing a job up here at an old abandoned church, and um, they were doing some renovating, some fixing it up, and there was some. Uh, weird stuff supposed to be happening down in the basement and I'm all about checking stuff out so I I don't live too far from here I live in Jersey I thought that I would uh, I would check it out it is uh, after midnight and I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna videotape it and see what if there's anything down there that is weird for some reason there's I don't know if the city has lights on parts of the building but I saw that it was um open for some reason too which is really weird so, but I'm gonna lock it I think there's a light on here I don't know if there'll be other lights there's a door Right here that I'm gonna go into. That's the door he told me to go into. So we're gonna check it out, see if it's open, which I don't know. It is it is open. Um before I go in, for what I like I said I don't I don't even know why the lights are on down there, but um, supposedly this place was shut down because of whatever weird things going on down in the basement um, and it's been closed for a couple months now this is just the first time that I could come out so um, the only lights I'm gonna have is the light on this camera it's pretty bright uh, and that's what we're gonna use to go down in the basement and see if we see anything why this is open is kind of freaky. So maybe there, there is something, I don't know. But here we go. Okay, something happened when um, I came into the building. The camera went off and I, it was stopped recording. I don't know why. So that's kind of a weird thing. But again, I don't believe in ghosts or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the basement right here and let's check out what they said was weird as they were working on the building supposedly there is some the story goes if there's some spirit being that will take over a person's body and uh, so there was they had noticed some body down here that would come and go and supposedly their soul is trapped until they can take over another body and then that body is trapped until it can take over another body I don't get it but we're gonna check it out and see what happens so far it looks just like a normal normal uh, basement again the only the only light that I have is the light on my camera and should anything happen to that I do have infrared which uh, will allow 
allow me to see in the dark. This is kind of creepy. It's an old, old church. It's over a hundred years old, well over a hundred years old. And they were redoing it. Looks like they got that bathroom done, which kind of makes me want to have to go to the bathroom. All right, I'm just getting down that. be the door that I saw outside and now that the electricity is off but yet the exit lights are on which is weird emergency switch oil heat well this is kind of creepy Check this out. What in the world is this? It's like I found the Ark of the Covenant. Indiana Jones all over again. Basketball, anyway. Nothing down there. Exit light. I don't hear anything. Looks like the guys left everything. They must have been pretty freaked out to leave it all here. Definitely creepy. But, no spirits. Ah, here's a bathroom. And it looks like it's been redone. Huh. Hello, how are you? I think I'm going to use the restroom, so I shall be turning this off for a moment, but I will need the light, so goodbye. Nothing down there. I can see. That's weird. I don't see anything. Something's wrong with my light. Oh man. I'm gonna have to turn on infrared. What? What is that? Hey. Hey, kid. You all right? You, what are you doing down here? What? You homeless? You need, you need some help? You need some food or something? Come on. 
Hey, my name's Earl Martin. I'm the writer, producer, director, and even got a chance to act in Occupied. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had in making it. Uh, some of you might wonder if there are such things as spirits, whether good or evil. You may wonder if there's a God or not. I happen to be a Christian, so I do believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. And I just want to give you a challenge. If you're searching for whether or not God is real or not, I can't force you to believe in Him. And I don't really want that responsibility to force you to believe in what I believe. But I would encourage you to do something that I think might be educational, if nothing else. And that is to read. Uh, start by reading this one book in the Bible. The whole Bible, I think, is great. But there's one book that might help get you started on your journey to figure out whether Jesus Christ and God is real. And that's the book of John in the New Testament. So if you go to the New Testament, the second, second part of the Bible, and you go to the fourth book, so it'd be Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John, and then read that over and over and over, and ask God if he's real to make himself known to you. So uh, that's probably the best thing I can do for you. And if you have any questions, uh, and I can help, feel free to to uh, search me out. I'd be glad to, to help you if I can.